I'm Jonah Berger, a marketing professor at the Wharton School and author of Contagious, Why Things Catch On, and I'm honored to be the first speaker at Fan Cave University here at the MLB Fan Cave. Today I'm going to give you a very brief tour through some of the ideas uh, through my recent New York Times bestseller, Contagious, Why Things Catch On. Word of mouth is over 10 times as effective as traditional advertising. It's more trusted and it's more targeted, but to make it work, we gotta understand why. I've spent the last 10 years studying word of mouth and social influence, so why things become popular and why they become unpopular. So I'm gonna talk about today is that science, understanding why people talk and share, and how we can use that to understand why things become popular. So I think if you look at uh, viral content that involves baseball, often there's something remarkable something surprising or novel or interesting. It breaks our expectations, which makes people share because it has social currency. What people talk about and share impacts how other people see them. So we talk about things that make us cool, look cool and smart and in the know. So Matt Kemp, I think, from the, the Dodgers had a great video where he gave a fan his jersey and his glove and also his shoes. But I think people were so surprised to see that. It was emotionally touching, but also it was remarkable in an unexpected way that they, that they shared it with others because it evoked that high arousal emotion. But if Kemp did that at the end of every single game, suddenly become a little less remarkable and people would be less likely to share. I want to take a little bit of a right turn and talk about a different principle, which is triggers. Uh, and here I want to talk about Rebecca Black. She had this song Friday, did really well. Why? I got some data actually. This is just searches for the name Rebecca Black on YouTube. If you look closer, you'll notice that those spikes aren't random. And if you look even closer, you'll notice that they're every Friday. Friday provides a ready reminder what psychologists would call a trigger to make people think about and talk about and share the song. MLB Fan Cave in New York City. They call it the house that Murph built. Nostalgia is definitely something that connects people. I'm an old Baltimore Orioles fan, right? Connecting over the trades they've made or the players I used to love uh, growing up as a kid helps connect with that experience, but also with other people. Oh, red hooded sweatshirt. Dip, dip, dip. So in the case of Red Sweatshirt, if they heard that Adam Sandler song, or if they see someone in a sweatshirt, it might remind them of that content and cause them to want to pass it off. So thank you guys very much. I hope you found today fun. The fact that there is such a science to why things go viral and it's not just a random occurrence that you can actually study it um, is very interesting. If you're interested in these sort of ideas, there's a free workbook you can download from my website. You can follow me on Twitter. Professor Berger was really, really good. He, he brought up some very, very interesting marketing principles. I've had a great time at the MLB Fan Cave University. Looking forward to coming back for more events. Thank you guys.